Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to um, talk about uh, relations. So I will start with the first definition, which is needed in this section. That is the definition of a Cartesian product. So I will write down the definition now. What is the Cartesian product of two sets? So I'm going to take two sets, A and B. So let A and B be two sets. Then the Cartesian product of A and B is denoted by A cross B. And in this Cartesian product, I'm going to define as A cross B as set of all A comma B, where A belongs to A and B belongs to the set B. So this is the definition of a Cartesian product. Whenever I write the definition, I'm not just going to write equal to, I'm going to put two dots and then I'm going to write an equal to. This is the meaning of definition of A cross B. Okay, so this is the definition of A cross B. Let's take one very simple example of a Cartesian product. So example, I'm going to take a set A is equal to say one, two, three, and B, I'm going to take ABC, and I'm going to find the Cartesian product of A and B. So I'm going to find A cross B. So it is easy to write this. A cross B is equal to, I'm going to write all pairs. You see there's this set contains of all pairs in which the first component of the pair should be from the set A and the second component must be from the set B. So if I write down the pairs, the first is one, second component is from set B. Then I can have one and a B also. I can have one with C also. I'm going to take all possible combinations, okay? Then I have two with go with A, two with B, and two with C. Then three with A, three with B, and three C. So these are all possible pairs that I can write between the given two sets, A and B. Let us go to one different example and write down the Cartesian product. So I'm writing a question, find the Cartesian product and sketch. We are also going to sketch the Cartesian product here in R2. So the first thing is 0, 1, cross 2, 3. So what is the set A here? The set A here is 0, 1. And the set B here is 2, 3. Now these two intervals are actually which type of intervals? Such intervals are called as closed intervals. So A is a closed interval. And B is also a closed interval. What do you mean by closed interval? Endpoints should be considered. When I write open interval 0, 1, it means endpoints 0 and 1 should not be considered. So here, what is A cross B? A cross B means set of all pairs a comma b such that a belongs to the first set and b belongs to the second set so let me write the sets means a belongs a comma b such that a belongs to closed interval 0 1 and b belongs to closed interval 2 3 
these pairs are in the set R2. And they are in the XY plane. Now I will draw the XY plane. In the XY plane, I will look at the first component. The first component is lying between 0 and 1. So I'm going to look at 0 and 1 here. I'm going to look at all these people between 0 and 1, including 0 and 1, because it is the closed interval. And second is b which is the second coordinate means it's a y coordinate and it lies between 2 and 3 so suppose this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 all the numbers between 2 and 3 including 2 and 3 so i'm going to shade them so this is set a and this is set B. A is horizontal thick line 0 1 close interval 0 1 and B is the vertical thick line close interval 2 3 and now let us sketch or shade what is the Cartesian product. In the Cartesian product remember that look at the definition of the Cartesian product carefully you have to look at all those pairs in which the first component should be any number between 0 1 here i have to write any number which is between 0 and 1 and the second component you have to write any number between 2 and 3 for example if i write any number between 0 and 1 suppose i take the number 0 0.6 0 0.6 belongs to the set 0 and 1 close interval 0 1 because 0 0.6 is lying between 0 and 1 and take any number between 2 and 3 any number between 2 and 3 so let me take 2.3 2.7 let's take 2.7 so this number is a member of the cartesian product because its x coordinate lies between 0 and 1 its y coordinate lies between 2 and 3 where is this number can we plot this number on the graph paper so where is 0 0.6 0 0.6 is approximately here on the x-axis on the y-axis 2.7 is approximately here so this point p 0 0.6 and 2.7 is somewhat approximately here so this is point p whose x coordinate lies between what x coordinate is 0 0.6 and y coordinate is how much y coordinate is 2.7 now i'm going to collect all such points whose x coordinate lie between 1, 0, 1 and y coordinate lies between the set 2, comma 3. From this, I hope the picture is now very clear. You must have got an idea that the Cartesian product of these two sets comes up to be this particular region. This complete region is actually the Cartesian product of the closed interval 0 1 so x coordinate of all the points here inside this set lies between 0 1 and the y coordinate of all these points y coordinate you look horizontal like this and y coordinate lies between 2 to 3 x coordinate lies between 0 and 1 so this entire region that i'm shading again including the boundaries is, will become what this is the Cartesian product of a cross b it's a rectangle it's a rectangle whose length is one unit and whose breadth is also it's a square I mean it's a square because uh, my scaling is not correct it's actually a square of one by one so this becomes a Cartesian product so if I try to draw one more Cartesian product I hope the, the idea will be very much clear so can you sketch the Cartesian product 1 2 cross 1 2 now okay, can we draw this cartesian product it's very easy on x axis i will take 1 comma 2 on y axis also i will take 1 comma 2 
this is the interval one two and the vertical interval is also one two and the cartesian product will be so these this is set a and this is set b i'm calling this a and i'm calling this b okay and the cartesian product will be this particular square where the x coordinate of any point we take any point here its x coordinate lies in the set 1 2 its y coordinate also lies in the set 1 2 so all points in this square the x and y coordinate lie between 1 2 and 1 so this becomes the cartesian product a cross b or 1 2 cross 1 2 